In this video, I want to show you how to use action buttons to navigate through your presentation. Here's the normal presentation. Uh, this one has nine slides, and I'm sure some of you have much longer uh, presentations than that. When I run this presentation, I'm going to pick on slideshow from the beginning. And of course, here's slide one, and then slide two, and then slide three, and so on. It's just following the normal path. Now, let's just say that when you get to slide two, uh, sometimes a question might come up where you want to go to a different slide, maybe like the organization chart. Well, there's a couple ways we can do that. Uh, I'm going to run the show again. I'm going to pick on the slide show from the beginning. Here's slide one. Here's slide two. Now, one thing I could do is I can actually type in the number six and then hit the enter key. I just typed the number six, you didn't see it on the screen. And then I hit the enter key, and now it is on the uh, the sixth slide. If I hit the number two again, and then hit the enter key, now I'm back to the second slide. So that's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it is you can right click on the slide, and then you can pick on go to slide, and then here I can pick on slide six. And you can do it that way, but that's kind of, uh, you know, people are seeing that. I'm going to right click on the slide and pick on go to slide and then pick on slide two again. Now for the first method, I had to remember what slide number it was on so I could type in that slide number. And for the second method, I had to right click on that and the audience kind of saw what I was doing there. So I'd like to make that more hidden from the audience. And the way we can do that is with an action button. So I'm going to hit the escape key. Now the action button could be a picture or it could be a shape. It really can be any, it could be a clip art. It could be anything really. In this case, I'm just going to pick on insert and then shape. I'll just use a rectangle and I'm going to move that in my slide. Maybe I'm going to move it over here. I usually like to keep these on the side. Now in a minute, I'm going to make it so you won't even be able to see that, um, that action button. Now here's what you do. Once that's there, you click on the shape or you pick on the picture or the object and you pick on the word action up here under the, um, the insert menu, insert and then action. All right, now there's lots of things that the action can do. Uh, first of all, we can hyperlink it either to another slide or a custom show or even a URL or another file. We can hyperlink it to many different things. We can run a program. All right, maybe you would run Word or Excel or something like that. Uh, you can um, make it play a sound. Okay, you can highlight uh, the click. Now, uh, also notice how there's a section that says mouse over. So you can even, you can activate the, um, the action when you click on the item or even when you move your mouse over it. In fact, uh, you can have one action when you click on it and one action when you move your mouse over that item. We're going to go back to mouse click. And uh, if I want to hyperlink it to a slide in the presentation, I'm going to say hyperlink to a slide. And then you pick the slide number that you want to go to. I'm going to pick on slide six and then we'll click on OK. So that means when I click on that button or if I click on that button, it'll go to slide six. Otherwise, if I don't click on that button, it'll go to slide three as normal. So let's run the show again. I'm going to pick on slide show from the beginning. Here's slide one. Here's slide two. Now let's say somebody has that question and you want to go to slide six. Well, at this point, I'm going to move my mouse over to the button and you can see the hyperlink is activated because of the pointer. I'm going to click on that and now I'm going to be on slide six. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to hit the escape key to go back to normal view. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that slide. I'm going to make that button so it's not so apparent. Uh, I'm going to pick on the button. I'll pick on home and then I'll change the shape fill to say no fill and I'll change the shape outline to say no outline. See now the button is still there but nobody knows that it's there except for you. So now let's try it this time. I'll pick on slideshow from the beginning Here's slide one. Here's slide two. Now let's say somebody has that question. You're going to move your mouse until you find the pointer. That's why I always put them on the right hand side. I'm going to click on that pointer and then that's going to bring me to slide six. 
So it kind of almost looks like that was the next thing that you wanted to happen. Um, so the audience, you know, doesn't know any better except for the slide numbers, of course. But um, in that case, you were able to go to slide six pretty easily without the audience even knowing that that wasn't what you had planned. Uh, now, maybe on slide six, I want another action button that would then return me to slide two or, or to slide three. Uh, so we'll go to slide three. Watch what I'm going to do. Again, I'm going to pick on the uh, insert a shape. Can I use a rectangle? I'm going to put it on the right hand side over here. Now you can adjust the size of that button, of course. Now we already know that we're going to hide that button. So what we're going to do is we'll change the shape fill to no fill and we'll change the shape outline to no outline. But I still want to, I still want to put an action on it. So I'm going to click on the button. So you can, if you just kind of search around, you'll find that button. Uh, I'm going to pick on the insert menu. And then we'll pick on action. In this case, I'm going to pick on hyperlink. And then in this case, we're going to hyper to hyperlink to a specific slide back to slide three, as a matter of fact. I'm going to click on OK. Uh, let's try the whole thing out. So I'm going to pick on slideshow from the beginning. Here's slide one. Here's slide two. So let's say that question comes up. Now, by the way, if that question doesn't come up, it's just going to go back to slide three, right? But I'm going to go back to slide two. Now, let's say the question comes up. You move your mouse to where you think your action button is, usually on the right-hand side, or some people put it in the corner. Uh, but you put it on the same spot, so it always is going to be consistent, so you can find it. I'm going to click on that button, and now slide six is going to appear. Now. If I went to the next slide right now, it would actually bring me to slide seven. Well, I want to return to slide two or slide three. So I want to click on this action button. You can see it because of the pointer. And now that brings me back to slide three. So you can put these action buttons anywhere you wanted to on the presentation. You can put multiple ones on one slide. And this gives you a great way to navigate through your presentation using an action button. Uh, so again, if we go back to that slide, here it is over here. I, I picked on the insert and then action. You can see the action button can do many different things. Uh, it can even do something different when we just move our mouse over the button as well as when we click on the button. And that's how you can navigate through your presentation with action buttons in PowerPoint 2010.